Today will be part six of the Silver Streak series. What I am doing now is ripping up the carpet tacking along the floor edges. And of course, um, <laughs> I lost my respirator mask and misplaced it somewhere. I don't know where. I need to go buy another one. And in the meantime, I'm using a uh, bandana, <laughs> so that should do for now. Okay, so let's get this set up and get started. Okay. And of course, I'm using my good camera again because I cannot find the part to my cell phone to turn it into a tripod. Just typical of me, I swear. This should be e pretty easy to get up. This is a really old, old screwdriver, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna keep tapping until I get it all pulled up. And uh, let's hope that nobody comes down to disturb me while I'm working. Actually, you know, I've gotten some comments. Uh, not bad comments, They're not bad at all. Not mean intended or anything, ill intended or anything. But some people say they can't do stuff like this, and I can fully understand that. Some people, this might be stressful. For me, it actually detoxes me. It just uh, gives me a focus, gives me something to do. And uh, simple work, you know. And I get to be by myself, which I like. As long as nobody comes along. And like I said, this shouldn't take too terribly long. Because this is so old. I should have gloves on. Um, I sh should have gloves on. In fact... Oh, but I have to move my car. Otherwise, it's back to the rubber gloves. I'll be back. Okay. I have also taken the gloves out of my car. Uh, you know, I really should just bag that stuff up and leave it in here. <sighs> Crazy. Where's my rubber gloves? Right here they are. So I'll put the rubber gloves on and be very careful. Oh, why do I do this stuff? <laughs> it's not the work I mind, it's not being prepared that drives me nuts. Well, I was prepared the other day and I got disturbed. I'm not prepared today and nobody's disturbing me. That's the way it goes. So I'm going to go along this whole RV, hi, <laughs> I don't know if you can see me or not, <laughs> oh goodness, hi, so I'm going to go along this whole RV and pull up all the tacking strip, I've already done a little bit beforehand. But I didn't get much done. I came down yesterday, but I got to, uh, people kept coming over. So, you know, it happens. So I'll get the rest of this stuff up. And hopefully I'll get some dusting done in here today. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Really, the best idea would be to grab the shop vac and suck up that dust rather than let it float through the air. But I don't have any power back here, and my generator is rather heavy. So I'll deal with what I can for now. Okay. 
Anyhow, yeah. The stuff I drag in and out <laughs> is still in. Okay, back to work, and I'll catch y'all in a bit. While I'm in here, let's talk windows. Oh, I don't know how to seal these windows. Um, they don't come out like a traditional RV window does. I could take this inside frame out and see what it looks like and put rubber butyl silver tape underneath. That might help some. But let's go outside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You see, all these windows are riveted down. So you can't take them out like you would with a like a fiberglass RV or something. And um, I have to find what kind of caulk I can use because this is metal. And uh, silicone caulk etches metal and it doesn't stick as well to metal. And I've been reading about this other kind of caulk, but um, I hear it remains sticky and stays sticky and I don't want something really sticky either. So, so I'm researching that right now. And if anybody knows what to do, what to use, please leave it in the comment section. Okay, back to the tacking strips. Okay, since this aisle is rather narrow, what I am doing here is, and I have a very, very long flathead screwdriver, so I'm doing it sideways, angling it rather. And that seems to be working okay. That way I'm not going bang, bang, bang into the cabinet behind me. Just to myself. <laughs> Bang, bang into myself. Won't be the first or the last time. And this is one long strip. That they used, so. And um, anytime you're doing a job like this, do not have any children or animals with you. Because I'm seeing medicines on the floor. Okay, there you go. Another strip out. And I'll keep going. I have also found out that these little plugs of carpet are screwed in. So, rather than damage the floor really bad, I'll have to get a screwdriver. See if I can get into those. See if that's what kind of screw head it is. Flathead. Okay, so I'll have to get a flathead screwdriver and uh, pull all those little plugs out. And screw them out so that, that I don't further damage the floor. Okay, this side's almost done. One other thing about uh, working on surfaces like this, there are, there are going to be a lot of little nails. So make sure you have on some decent shoes. Not uh, tennis shoes with those spongy bottoms because those nails will go right through those. Okay, so I've done around so far done around, um, oh no, I missed that. I still have to get that front area right there. Got around here, the whole way down around this edge, into the bathroom, around the bathroom cabinet, I mean closet, and then around here, and now I have the kitchen 
and of course I have a bunch of strips laying here that I'll bag up the kitchen and then I'll have the living room area to finish up on so I still have a little time in here also be sure to have a broom to sweep up those little nails and such with you don't have to have an expensive broom just something that will sweep them up this is a broom from the 99 cent store Alrighty then, um, <laughs> I did some cleanup to get rid of all the little nails and everything that were loose on the floor. I still have to go through and unscrew nails from the floor and uh, pop up other little nails that are left behind. And I still have to do the living area. Hmm. But, somehow... Ah, there it is. It just fell off. I was going to say, somehow, in the midst of cleaning things up and throwing them in the bag, I had lost my old screwdriver. <laughs> but I found it now, so I'm going back to work. And hopefully get the rest of this area done. And then I'll call it a day. And yes, um, I am going to go get a tetanus shot just in case. That's never a bad idea because it, it's been years since I've had one. It's just not a bad idea to go ahead and get that done. So I'll get that done hopefully tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep working. I'm just being very careful. I'm almost there. Got from the wood part over to the corner. And I thought this was kind of interesting. See there how they did that? Just little tiny sections to make it around the curve. That's something else I'm going to have to learn. Is how to curve this wall when I rebuild it. So, maybe that will be a user show. But anyhow, I'll face that one when the time comes. Back to work. Even with a lens cap on, my lens was getting dirty and the camera wouldn't, <coughs> excuse me, focus. <coughs> Dust. So, you can see where water has penetrated into part of the floor. However, this part is still solid except right around the corners. So I'll probably replace that whole part over there. And of course along this wall. But um, before I even do any of that, before I build any floor, I still have to get out there and get the windows done first. Because why fix it if it's going to still leak? Okay, so I just have this wall left over here. And then I'm done with the carpet tacks. This side should not be hard at all because this was the most rotted side. Yeah, there's a lot of rot around the door starting probably since I screwed up the door so bad. So I'll have to address that. I promise you guys, this thing's going to look really cool when it's done. You'll be surprised. And amazingly, I may have said this before, but I have not seen, seen one single bug in here yet. Isn't that weird? 
Not one single bug. Oh, that's still one big strip still. Okay. Oh my gosh, here comes the wall with it. Yeah, this is the worst spot of the whole RV. Well, that and the toilet. So rotted. Shoot. There we go. Last strip. Okay. Gonna clean this up. And call it a day. Catch y'all later. And this is part six of the Twinkie Reno. Y'all have a good day. Look, it's nice outside. Nice and cool. Good day to be working in here. Live the life you love. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.